Well, hi, good morning. Thanks very much. Um, we think consumer sentiment um, has already started to weaken over the summer. Obviously, if you talk to our uh, economist, uh, Holger meeting later as well, you will, you will hear that we uh, think that we're going into a recession. Uh, so people are scared about uh, their energy bills. Um, so what you've seen, I think, over the summer to start with was a higher return rate of e-commerce players. Actually, that was the very start um, of, of the downturn, of the dip in consumer sentiment. We think uh, consumers are uh, cutting down on non-essential goods. Uh, however, so there are pockets where we think that consumers are still willing to, to spend. And uh, one of the themes that we like, especially in the, in the German mid-cap space, is, is something called revenge travel. So what you also see is something that after coming out of COVID, uh, you know, in, instead of spending uh, on durable goods, uh, Consumers are still willing or spending on leisure because they haven't been out for two or three years. They haven't been to events. Uh, so they, they, you know, travel is one of the areas where we think uh, maybe a little bit mitigated just because of coming out of COVID. There's a little bit of money in the pockets left. And that's something that carries us over this year and probably even next year. But again, what we'll have to see is uh, once the higher energy bills kick in, what, what consumers will do then. And we haven't really seen that because we had a nice warm summer and the energy bill is just going to rise probably this month and starting next month. Gerhard, um, on that note, it sounds relatively optimistic, this idea that um, travel demand will hold up in the coming months. What gives you that optimism and what kind of opportunity does that mean from an equity perspective for those investors watching? Yeah, I mean, we, we do think there is a trend of spending away from uh, goods towards services generally. And this has been accelerated maybe, uh, you know, during the COVID crisis because people have not been able to go out. Uh, we've seen this just last week. Uh, Sixth, the rental car company has raised this guidance because they have been able to, to pass through significantly higher uh, rates for their rental cars because people want to travel and, and, and want to go out. Uh, we have seen the same, a fantastic quarter for a company called CTS Eventim Q2, uh, where we were significantly above 2019 levels in terms of concerts, live events. So this is, uh, this, these are areas that people like to spend money on. Um, just, you know, because, because they haven't been able to really for, for two or three years. Can I ask you about the retail spending in Germany? Because what we've seen here in the UK has been a trading down already. People trying to reduce basket sizes. Of course, if you're using an online platform, it makes it easier to, to substitute at this point. What sort of impact are we going to see amongst German consumers when typically they have been more conservative when we talk about European spending patterns? Yeah, well, I think in, the, in terms of companies that we are looking at, most of them that are listed are in the e-commerce space, and they've seen a tough time already over the summer. So you had a lot of profit warnings of a lot of the uh, e-commerce players. Uh, here again, if we were to, to pick uh, some of them, we would uh, you know, pick some e-commerce players that don't burn a lot of cash. That, that have positive margins. There's a company called Bike24, which sells uh, cycling equipment mainly, where you've already got a bigger uh, um, in installed base of bikes because a lot of people bought bikes during the COVID uh, times and where now they, they, they can sell accessories. So we think this is a little bit more uh, defensive, but we do think that companies that sell uh, you know, non-essential goods, big ticket items uh, are going to be having a very tough time during this uh, winter.